Uh, Matt Southgoo, my TV Wales. Uh, Josh, you've got an opportunity to qualify for the knockout stages with a game to spare. How nice would it be to go into that fortnight off, having already done the job and got through to the quarterfinals? Yeah, it would be. Um, you know, it's, it's in our hands now. That's a nice position to be in as well. Um, you know, it's, uh, it is, it's all dependent on us and, and, and how we perform Sunday. Um, we're quite aware of the carrot at the end, um, if you like, um, and it's motivated us a lot this week, if I'm honest. It's the best week we've had, in, in, in my opinion. Um, and as I just said, I think we're pretty highly motivated for this game on Sunday, as will Australia, of course. You know, it'll, it'll be a massive game for them as well, but it um, should be a great contest, and um, we, we're very much looking forward to the game. We've had some good battles with Australia down the years, usually quite close encounters. What are the keys to success uh, on Sunday? Yeah, we have. Um, the past couple of results have been very, very tight. Um, both teams right in it to the end, and I got no doubt Sunday will be no different to, to how they've been. Um, we've had some close battles with them. Um, and to your question there, I think improving on our first two performances will be really important for us. Um, I think Australia pose a very, very good aerial threat as well, which will be very important um, that we nullify that and, and, and counter that ourselves. Um, the short side attack is pretty good as well, so we need to be on our, our, our money defensively. Um, so there's a few aspects there that, you know, a few, a few different scenarios how we think Australia might come at us. And um, yeah, I, I think, as I said, I think this is the best week that we've had as a, as, as a team. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Josh, what? So I'm here, Gareth Griffiths, and BBC Sport. What are these weeks like for a player? They're brilliant. I personally, I, I love them. Um, from putting the Portugal game to bed, you know, all your focus solely turns to Australia. Um, I think you've. I felt the energy in the group build as the week's gone on, which has been a good thing. Um, you know, we've talked about different aspects of the game what this game means for us as a squad going forward as well. And um, I thought we were really sharp out there today. And, you know, sometimes you can feel that, that bit of energy, that bit of buzz around the group. Um, and we're feeling really good. And as I've just said, I think Sunday would be a great contest and two teams going after each other. Ben James, Wales Online. Josh, Warren and George North have both spoken this week about how sort of passages of play have tended to become shorter uh, since the last World Cup. Obviously, looking back at 2019, Wales were capable of going through sort of 30 phases for tries, whereas we saw against Fiji, a lot of it was maybe a sort of a couple of phases before you sort of got over the line. How has the team's approach changed in terms of that and staying clinical with the way the game's changed? Yeah, it's an interesting start. Um, I think... Probably the game favours the defensive team slightly a little bit more. Um, maybe that's why you've seen teams kick a lot longer as well to you know, apply pressure a bit earlier in sets, um, not giving any opportunity to be turned over or forcing error in your own half. Um, there's a couple of stats on giving away a penalty in your own half, how much time the opposition spend in your 22 when you do, get, when you do cough up the ball. Um, and teams, you know, focus, every team focuses a lot on their 22, um, in, inside the opposition's 22 attack, and nearly every team are very ruthless at coming away with points. So it'll be important that we're clean in what we do. Um, our game model is, is strong, and um, we, we, we stick to that through the duration of the 80 minutes will be a, an, an important factor for us. Um, Taolupe, um, the last time we played Australia, uh, we had a 21-point lead and they came back and won. Against Fiji, uh, you had a big lead and at the end you were hanging on, on there. Given that you've got a, a quite a much older team than the, the young Australians, is this um, a concern that maybe later in the game, you know, the younger, fresher legs um, might be able to, uh, you know, put some pressure on? Um, I think we'll take our learnings from, from those games. Um, the things that we'll take from there probably discipline and, and errors. Um, we'll look to obviously not make those in, in the crucial last 20 minutes. 
Yeah, Luke. Question for Mike. Has it, after the defence was so good against Fiji, has it sort of been a couple of weeks off for you? Is, is it not much to do, really? Just the same again? <clears throat> yeah, there's always something to do, I think. I never get, get too carried away with defending because this is a massive challenge. Um, as, as, as Josh alluded to, they've got some super backs. They've got young legs. You know, they, they've got... We're not unsure what, the, what game they'll come, whether they go to the air or whether they'll go into a, a multi-phase game. So our all court defensive game's got to be right on. Um, but from a defensive point of view, as Josh alluded to our game model, you know, we've got to, have the, we've got to drive and thrive around our defence. Uh, I've not... I'm, you know, make no mistake about it, I'm, we're expecting a really tough tough evening tomorrow from that area and we'll have to be, uh, basics have got to be spot on, how we chase kicks, how we get off the floor, how we're half a metre behind the game line on side, things that we can control. We have to be the best in them areas tomorrow. Here in front. Uh, hi Mike. Uh, Fiji had a lot of success at the, at the breakdown last week against Australia. What, what stood out from that that you can potentially use? <coughs> Yeah, well, Fiji, you know, Fiji are a bit of a freaky team around the breakdown. They got they got some probably world world class jacklers with big powerful people. And to be fair to the Australians, I've always thought that the contact here is always been pretty sharp. I think they counter up really well. I think you know the years of the Upers and the Pococks. I think they have a good DNA around that. We've just got to make our decision making around that's got to be good. Our, our attacking breakdown has got to be quick, fast in, and our defensive breakdown has got to be disciplined. If there's people in the rook, we've got to leave them green rooks. We've got to trust our defence and not to make silly decisions. And, you know, we, we had a yellow card in the Fiji game on 63 minutes, I think it was, and it really hurt us badly, that, painting a bad picture. So we talked about that. Yeah. Um, Mike, do you have to motivate this lot much for defence or is it something that is... You know, in the Welsh blood, if you like, just this love for um, for defence. No, I don't, I don't need to motivate them. They've been, they've been brilliant for me. Um, obviously, you know, I, I try and set the programme, set the stall at what we're chasing, and then these guys drive it. Um, you know, I think it's really important that, you know, I think people understand Welsh people, probably a bit like where I'm from. I'm a Wigan lad, a very, very proud and working class, and I think the Welsh are similar to Wiganers, us Northerners, and I knew that from coming in day one. And, you know, these guys... Have been brilliant. I, I can't give them enough credit. Um, I'm no doubt tomorrow they'll go to the well again because they care about each other. There's a brotherhood around them, and uh, it's, re I'm a, it's a real privilege for me to, to be involved with this group. Thanks, Mike. Yeah. Uh, Mike, you talked about the breakdown there about being fast in and, and staffing breakdowns appropriately. Before the breakdown happens, though. How important is winning collisions in terms of getting in over, over Australian ball? First of all, you've got to win collisions. Well, collisions is a game, isn't it? Physicality, you know, from, from an attacking point of view, we've got to make sure that we get good support. We, we have, you know, we have late footwork at the line from a defensive point of view. We've got to get excited when they play off nine. You know, I've, I've challenged our forwards with that. And when they want to shift, our edges have got to be nice and high and up square and, you know, a real accuracy around our tackle management. But it's a challenge, as I said before. You know, they're a talented group, this Wallabies team, and we're expecting the best of them. Josh, when, when Mike was just talking about brotherhood and going to the well, I could see you nodding. Just talk to me about what this group is willing to do for each other. Um, yeah, look, I think we've shown aspects of that brotherhood, how, will, how much we're willing to work hard for each other. Um, we've had three months of it prior to coming here. Um, and I think that, that work we've done has put us in a good stead. I think we understand um, what we expect from each other, first and foremost. Um, I expect the best of everybody else, and they shouldn't expect anything less from me. And um, I think as a squad, we make a promise to each other before we play that no matter what happens out there, I'll constantly keep fighting for everything. You know, every ball in the air, every ball on the floor. As a squad, we'll just continuously scrap for everything. and. We just want to be a difficult team to beat and break down. Um, we, and as I've just said, I think we've shown passages of that. Um, we can get better and we can push it further. And, and that's our aim, is to impose ourselves defensively 
in, in a more aggressive way. Um, but as Force alluded to, just being disciplined around it. Some of our discipline um, has been poor, and we've addressed it um, across the squad um, as well. And you know, being selective on different ruck choices, um, you know, when to go to different sort of decals, is going to be important for us. But in terms of fighting for each other, I got no doubt that every one of us will scrap to the 80, 90, 100th minute, no matter what tomorrow, um, Sunday. Sorry. Josh just wanted to ask about, um, about Mark Nowakani Tawasi and, and the start he's made to his his Test career. He scored twice in Cardiff last November. What have you made of him? He's been fantastic since he's since he's come into the Wallaby setup. Um, what a terrific athlete! First and foremost, um, he's been. I think he's been a point of difference for Australia. Um, his work off the ball has been excellent. Um, he pops up on the left side, right side, in the middle of the field. He's got a fantastic engine. Um, and I think he's a big. I think he's a big key point, like a vocal point for Australia. I think he gets him over the game line well, and his offensive aerial work is excellent as well. Um, they try and pick him out as often as he can. You know, he's he's a big, 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 big lad um, as well. So he's he, he's been terrific. I, you know, um, I had to look at him in depth as well, um, and I'm going to have to be on 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 my money tomorrow to to, to nullify that threat because he's been excellent for Australia. So you know. All, all fairness to him, he, he's been brilliant. Yep. Um, Josh, you've played against a lot of Eddie Jones coach sides. Is there anything you noticed during that time that, that always comes with an Eddie Jones side? Um, that's a good question. Uh, very difficult to really say. Um, you know, they're always highly motivated. Um, as well, uh, they, the previous England sides we've we've played under Eddie tend to have kicked the ball f uh, a fair amount as well. Um, but you know this Australia side, I think they got two sides to their game where they can move the ball as well as kick um, offensively. So um, it's very difficult to say really what to expect, but um, no doubt that they'll be motivated. Okay, looks like no further question in English. So I'll take. One question at the back there, please. Thank you. Thanks so much. That's for you. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Josh, just in the break. Pamela is in Chival Caravan. Bevi the Gavrina here. Ian Nish for you. Ian, Ian. I'm the Nedra Kamlan. Your game. Your call was not really there. Was not score. Evan Crady need a call. Get on Gilead. Erstod Masna. Ningo Bod Besid. Ar diwedd y gema, os ni gallu cael fydd y goliaeth, mwna nhw'n rhywbeth bwysig yn un, ni di siard amdano. Um, am afyn bwysig, am afyn gem bwysig i Australia hefyd, so ni'n gwybod bydd y gem di sil yn un anodd, um, ond ni, ni fel garfan yn edrych ymlaen i'r sialens yna, um, a fel fi newydd dweud, mae ma, ma rhaid ni fod y gore ni di, ni di bod um, Eto and 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 uh, cup and a bead hen. Osni moin kalvi the goliath to seal. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.